Uh, good morning. It's uh, Monday morning. Fuck. And it is Elite Dangerous. And it is. I'm just trying to check the quality of it. Next destination is uh, 13 Moose Sagittary, another star in relation. It's a blue supergiant. Should be a little bit bigger than the uh, 15 Sagittary that we just missed Friday. Uh, everything has been repaired except the power plant, which here, so we're going to go on um, uh, first jump. You have to turn modules. Currency. Been booted up. Yeah, we had a drifting going on. Roller again. Drive charging. All right, we're going straight for the neutron star. Wait. We did uh, over 
over 9,000 light years on Friday. Hello. Close to. I want to check him out. Would have expected there to be some uh most of the stars are like a visitor spot. Kinda would have expected them to be covered. But then again it's Like I know people have been to uh, 15 Sagittarii and to uh, uh, 13 Sagittarii. So, you know, that's not a surprise. The thing is... You know, did they take the same route as me? The fact that I'm taking a straight route from 15 to 13 does that mean that other people did the same thing? Did they really go and look for um, neutron stars 50 light years out? Go and grab it. Now we can actually make notes. Um, Look, one pen. Both of these planets are, are uh, you know, right next to each other, so well, they're not going to be anything more than just uh, high metal content worlds. But it's not really going to be spectacular, but well, and it. Target next system. Next system targeted. Friendship drive charging. All right, we go straight for a second neutron star.
gonna try and see of correlation with jump to Jumps, the jump distance versus uh, damage to the land. Good. Um, we got sixteen jumps to do thirteen moves that you test. Quick. Frame shift drive. stuff up on the com I'm kind of out of real estate. <laughs> we'll see if we can um, uh, beat Friday. Friday we did uh, 36 neutron star jumps. I believe nearly all of them were uh, new discoveries. Morning, Frameshift Drive operating beyond the safety limits. Also did uh, over nine thousand light years. Frameshift drive charging. So it does look like this is going to be how it's going to be. Uh, we're going to 
gonna do... Uh, two neutron star jumps and one regular jump after refuel. Double dip. It is a little, um, little odd with the damage we're taking on the friendship uh, the bat it doesn't look like there is it. obvious correlation between um, uh, number of jumps or number of uh, light years jumped uh, it seems Uh, seems you get one or two points damage per jump. Also be um, drive may also be zero. I've gone down four points, not ninety six, uh, in four jumps. So that does average out to be uh, one per jump. Seem to be uh, 
Doesn't seem to be consistent. Because of the neutron stars, we are making uh, really, really good time on. Uh, on the repair. Uh, but it does come at a cost. When jumping like this, um, especially with these kind of ranges, uh, there's there's really even if it takes you. Make up on it. Get the boost. Then get out of the phone. All that stuff. Just with the massive range we're getting. Nice, just. There's no other way to go. Good morning, Mealtime Gaming. How are you doing this morning? It's gonna be a little bit before we get any milestones or anything, but we're only gonna get to uh, 13 new Sagittary before then. The 
We need like another 1300 light years before we celebrate breaking the 30k remaining vehicle point. That's a very good question. Seven, seven or eight months? Frameshift drive charging. Is it 12? Probably about eight months. How do I prefer play? Probably more trade and exploring than battle. Which is why um, uh, I am closer to the elite ranking on those two than I am on. Um, combat. Um, well, uh, there are some planets you can land on. All the ones with a blue ring around it, like these guys, you can land on. And then you can take uh, your vehicle, drive around on it. Uh, it's mostly used for, uh, well, just uh, going for a spin. Uh, but it's mostly for uh, uh, mining materials that you need, uh, that you need for whatever reason. I am gonna need some chromium at some point, but I don't know if I'm gonna be looking for it today. The one thing that's missing is the ability to land on planets with atmosphere. Hoping they don't have to add that at some point. Um, at this point, there's uh, it's limited what you can. Uh, what you can land on and what you can do when you're down there. Yeah, I think... I think there's a fairly big group that would like to see that. So you could drive around and have a, a little bit more features. Um, you can have a little bit more planetary features than what you're getting on these uh, uh, dead rocks that you're landing.
it would be great if you could land on uh, if you could land on uh, earth likes and water water worlds and stuff like that just to see you know just to see water and trees and I don't know some alien fauna flora I think Just gotta be careful, and, and if they're gonna add uh, they're gonna add that on, on Earth likes and stuff like that. They have to uh, be careful and not uh, kind of replicate what um, no man's. I did with their, especially with their animal. I think I will leave out Adam and uh, animal planets here and just uh, just have plant life. Because the uh, uh, the generation of animal life in No Man's Sky didn't really turn out very well. get way too many predator like animals that was not predators and too many Duckasaurus um so, I don't know, I think that might be a little bit difficult to implement so, some kind of alien plant life. Just some vegetation. That would be cool. But, as far as I know, they didn't mention anything about anything like that at all on the roadmap that they had presented. <coughs> Just a couple of months ago, so... I don't know. I'd hold my breath on that. This one could, in theory, be uh, a habitable zone. Oh, that's not in theory. This one is in habitable. Question is if the terraforming candidate. We've got four jumps to move Sagittary. Gonna be a new car. That's what.
Oh, I did the thing again, didn't I? I went in there on a bar. Alright, we'll have to fix that after we scan this. Seems to be some kind of a bug. With the... Uh, the generation of the routing. If you enter the galaxy map while in a car, we route you. And kind of mess up your settings. That was indeed a terraforming candidate. Come on. Candidate for terraforming. Volcanism, iron magma. We can't land and see that, though. Bit of a sh One ring, it's rocky. I'm gonna go in here, we gotta change this. Four jumps. I think one thing that a lot of people would like to see would be be able to um, walk. So either step out of your ship on a planet or um, step out of your ship on a star base or station or whatever you want to call it. And then actually, you know, walk around and Even if it's only to walk over to the elevator and then, you know, take the elevator to the lounge or whatever. With the... Um... Little hangout in the lounge at... Uh... At the station. And kind of you know, chat with... They really need to have a space bar at every station. Doesn't mean that you can't be doing the stuff from uh, from your ship, but it's just giving you the option to, you know, kind of. Just go there, selecting a destination, and walk into the lounge. Sit down at a table, whatever, with um, your online friends, whatever you want to call them. Then, you know, pay a couple of credits for a drink, whatever you want. You can do voice chat or text chat or whatever you want. It would add to the um, the atmosphere of the game, the companionship of pilots, especially for those who have linked themselves to the faction.
I think that would be uh, kind of cool. There's a nebula over there. Not sure which one that is. It'd be really, really far away. Be that thing. All right, gotta jump into another neutron star. I think right now people are more impatient. Uh, uh, with the content that has been promised. Waiting for the delivery of that. There's also uh, some new stuff coming in Q1 next year. Ah, good afternoon. Warning, frame drive operating beyond the safety limits. Frame drive supercharged. Just in time. We're gonna jump into uh Blue Supergiant here. 13 Moose Sagittary. First destination of the day. Oh. oh. How big are you? Oh, that's big. Um. This is probably the second biggest star I've been at. Although I don't have, um, I haven't kept records of that. But I'm, yeah, I'm 1700 light seconds away. There is a giant star down in the bubble somewhere. I think when you, uh, the dropout is about 2200 light seconds. Uh, there isn't really much here to scan. So I'm not gonna bother with that. We are gonna go, uh, gonna go close. Uh, this might be loud. A 
don't know if this one is going to be as angry as that red super giant. Over there. That is really kind of awesome. That's the wrong map. All right, uh, so we are now squarely past Sagittarius A. Bubble is way down there. Uh, Sagittarius A, which is the center of the galaxy, is uh, over here somewhere. Right, right there. Colonia is over here. I'm pretty sure I didn't click on it. All right. I'm gonna go in here and remove the bookmark. Yeah, we made uh, really good progress. We made really good progress on Friday. Um, just trying to figure out what this is. Right, that is a uh, planetary nebula. Kind of surprised it doesn't show up here. It must be one of these guys. Not that one. Here it goes. A neutron star, planetary nebula, splosh. A little bit sideways though, isn't it? Let me check and see what um, uh, galactic. Let me see what uh, EDSM says. This uh, planet. Lot of them. Peace. Can't even self in this. Why not? In. Logged in. Oh.
Why would I want to go to Saul? I've already been there. There's plot. Okay. All right, are uh, we not gonna go to Splash? There's nothing. Uh, let's see. Right now I am 36,000 light years from Earth. So, since I'm trying to go to Beagle Point, uh, that would be very counterproductive at this point. We're gonna make our way up to this carbon star. It seems to be the next uh, logical uh, uh, destination on our map. And this will also break the. This is not good. Thought I had put the brakes on, and I obviously had not. All right, let us survey the damage. Not too bad. Good, we're good. Uh, took a little bit of damage, but it's not. Not critical. Now, 
Still gonna scan this star. Even if I don't have to at the point. Put my name. I crashed into it. And get out of here. Didn't check. Uh, it's 38 jumps up to that carbon star. Yeah, this should break the 30k uh, to be a point. So yeah, things are uh, better. I'm gonna make a short stop in the next system to refuel and repair. Just because we kinda have to. Uh, I'm not gonna do the hull. I don't want to use a input for one percent. But I do want to use a limp. I do want to use some uh, stuff and repair all the other stuff. At least the frame shift drive. Really does uh, oh, I forgot. I forgot what I was about to say. Not have been very important. We're gonna turn around and skip. Come on. out
All right, I think we got everything that needs repairing has been repaired. Just waiting for the shields to come up. Jump out. So yeah, we got uh, twenty-nine thousand six hundred and ninety-six light years to go to Beagle Point. So I guess. Now is a good time to start. We'll try to avoid any more uh, face plants. Not really a good idea to crash into neutron stars. System. Hello. Three hundred and eighty-five thousand. That's not really worth it, though, is it? It is. For sure, the system will not be affected by the new drugs. Um, but... Uh, it just takes too long to do... 300, 400... We're gonna double dip. And off to another one. Two hundred and fifteen light years. Uh, my jump range is 
My jump range is uh, 55.4 light years. And it's quadruple when you supercharge your frameshift drive in the neutron star jet cones. So that's why I'm able to jump 200 plus light years. <clears throat> and um Uh, the, uh, the improved routing from uh, uh, in the game. No, any ship. Doesn't matter what ship you have. Any ship, if you get into the jet cone of a neutron star, or frame shift drive will be supercharged after... Uh, uh, I don't know how many seconds it is, but... Uh, you gotta stay in there for like 10 seconds or so before you get supercharged. I'm not sure if you have to have a fuel scoop or not. The only thing you need to do is uh, make sure you have non sequence stars selected on the map filter. Um, star class, non sequence stars. That will take you to neutron stars. And these stars on top are the ones you can uh, scoop for fuel. You can also do it on uh, M type stars. Um, it's just there's so many uh, uh, class M stars. The they're the red dwarfs. Um, they are very small. I find them difficult to scoop uh, because of the relatively small radius. And they also uh, there's a lot of them. So if you have that included, you'll just end up with a lot of M type stars. Uh, carbon stars and wolf raid stars you don't have to have that on there i just have it just in case uh one comes along and um i have chosen to not include white dwarfs because they are uh i don't like it's not worth getting a boot them uh, on here, uh, fastest route and use jet cone boost. That will map you to uh, neutron stars if there are any on your way. Uh, I have uh, I have a six A fuel scoop. Uh, it's pretty decent. I almost regret regret uh, not getting the 7A. Um, that was very expensive. I didn't really. Uh, I didn't really have the money for that. I decided to go a little cheaper with the 6A. It's not cheap, but it's cheaper than the 7A. Still getting fuel though scooped at a pretty good level.
Uh, standard fuel tank, uh, the standard on the Anaconda is uh, a 32 ton fuel tank. You don't need more than that because it's just the speed when you use. Some people are a little bit more nervous about the uh, amount of fuel they're carrying than I am. Though I am pretty obsessive about uh, filling it up. Right, this guy is uh, in a tiny small jet cone. I don't like being this cool. <laughs> yeah, I know it's that's uh You gotta do what's what you feel comfortable with. Um, the way it seems to be doing the routing very well, so um, it it does find me like two neutron stars uh, in a row, and then it takes me out to a fuel star. Uh, and I'm uh, I'm good with that. There isn't a lot of fuel left when I get out, but. There is enough for an emergency to jump out to a nearby. It's a lot. It's about figuring out what's comfortable for you. You want to have an extra fuel tank, extra large fuel tank. Then, you know, that comes with pros and cons. Warning: You do get more jumps before you have to refuel, but. Refueling is going to take you a lot longer. Um, and the increased weight of all that fuel is gone. Affect your jump range. But again, it's all it's all about people's comfort level. It's a very flexible game, so you can do whatever you want.
So I think we were talking a little bit earlier about upcoming features of this. Uh, I think right now people are getting a little bit impatient uh, with regards to the Type 10. It looks now like it's going to be a Christmas gift. I mean, at this point, I don't see I don't see there being any reason to wait until after Christmas to release it, and there's no reason to release it like on Thursday. Uh, and then after that, it's you know that week or the other week. There is a isn't there like a 24-hour live stream coming up from uh, FSEV? Uh, I would not be surprised if they would um, if they would release a Type 10 along with the live stream. Yeah. All right. Uh, if I had money, I would put money on the Type 10 uh, coming out for that uh, live stream. It's, uh, um, yeah. That would be a uh, very appropriate timing for the for the Type 10. It would generate more interest in the thing. And I gotta check the schedule and see when that is. Uh, I'm probably not gonna be streaming that day. Because there's no point. I might be. I may be playing uh, while watching the stream. Hey, good morning, Reaper. How are you doing? It's almost a little bit dangerous watching on the streams while you're playing. This is a neutron star again. Full stop. Engines full stop. All right. Be wild. Inch camera. Full stop. Engines full stop. Take a picture. Picture taken. Yes, that is also dangerous. Change camera. Change camera. It's also dangerous to be flipping through different kind of windows while playing and jumping into neutron stars. Because it doesn't matter how many times you hit the X button if it goes in the wrong window. So yeah, lessons, lessons learned. Now 
I did a I did a gentle face plant earlier, but uh, didn't break anything. Just a little flesh wound, that's all. Thank you for the subscription, Reaper. Appreciate that very much. Getting closer to our goal of 175. I forgot to scoop fuel, didn't I? I think I did. Um, I'm gonna go back and bar and scoop some. Hey, look, a water world. Too good to be true. Oh yeah, we, yeah, we're not scanning, we're fueling. Alright. Oh yeah, um... I think it is likely at this point that they would release the Type 10 with the livestream event. I can think of no better timing for that to happen. And uh, I will check the schedule and I'll see when it is. Uh, I won't be streaming that day because uh, it will be pointless. Uh, everybody will be watching the charity stream anyways. Everybody should watch the charity stream. Everybody who can should consider donating to the charity. I am certain it is for something good. bring out my calculator just for a second here just for some uh, useless stats uh, calculator we have done 4,638 light years in 31 jumps that's 149 light years average jump distance that is how many neutron stars we're finding. And it's... There's probably going to be a lot more undiscovered stars on kind of you know, in this half of the galaxy. Full stop. Stop. See if that worked. Yes, it does. Ah, 
god. Yeah, and uh, falling asleep at the wheel. Uh, yeah, I can think of nothing worse than falling asleep at the wheel here. Uh, going to... What's it called? Hutton Orbital? And then crashing and dying when you get there. That would be bad. That's not where you crash, is it? gotta get in here come on the lovely jet cone on the car the best new car ever come on though get in there seriously Get in, but now we can't get out. Warning, braking drive operating beyond safety limits. That's all right, lady. Like living dangerous. Base pilots. Braking drive charging. See how modules are affected how? If you crash? I'd be more interested to see how your hull is doing. Damn it, Jim. Jim, I'm your doctor and I'm also your friend. Get back your command. Get it back before you turn into part of this collection, before you really do grow old. I haven't put in any more bones quotes, but I should. Think modules degrade, period. Unless you crash into something, then they take damage, but that's damage from the crash, not degradation. Do they take more damage if you're. Your integrity is low. Hold on, I gotta take this.
All right. Uh, I I gotta go. I got stuff I have to do now. Um. So I'm gonna have to cut the stream short. Not really what I wanted to do, but I don't really have any choice. Uh, right now. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, with uh, more. I hope to see you all then. Uh, yeah, this is uh, game over.